You are in for a ride. We have a lot to cover. Let's dive in. Let's start with super good news as we celebrate the upcoming debut of K-pop's first ever idol group with hearing impairments. The trio, known as Big Ocean, consists of Lee Chanyun, Park Hyun Jin, and Kim Ji Sok. They'll showcase songs in Korean Sign Language, English Sign Language, and International Sign, a groundbreaking approach in the tightly choreographed world of K-pop idol groups. This will make their music accessible to everyone, regardless of hearing ability, and open doors for more people to enjoy K-pop. It's an incredible milestone for world of music and inclusivity. Their debut single, Glow, is a remake of the 1998 hit track, Hope, by the first-generation boy band, H.O.T. Through its lyrics, they offers a message of encouragement to those facing tough times, assuring them that there's light at the end of the tunnel. Big Ocean's debut is set for April 20th, coinciding with Korea's Day of People with Disabilities. Reportedly, despite their hearing limitations, the members recorded their vocals like typical idol singers, using artificial intelligence technology to help with higher ranges where their hearing limitations posed challenges. The name Big Ocean reflects the group's ambition to make a big impact and surprise the world with their potential as vast as the ocean. Recently, they participated in a dance challenge with Rise, which has gained attention. Check out the members in action, Dancing to Love 119 in sign language version. Their moves are impressive even with Rise dancing in the background. While waiting on their anticipated debut, get to know the members more from their YouTube channel. They share several covers, shorts, and behind-the-scene video. Congratulations on this exciting journey, Big Ocean. We'll be cheering you on. And more good news coming your way as Super Junior's Rio Wook will be getting married in May to Ari, a former member of the now-disbanded girl group Tahiti. The couple confirmed their relationship in 2020 and have been dating publicly since then. On March 29th, Rio Wook shared the exciting news with a handwritten letter to his fans. He began by expressing gratitude to Elf, Super Junior's fandom, who have supported him since his youth. He admitted feeling nervous about sharing this happy news. He further explains that this decision wasn't made hastily. After careful consideration and discussions with the company and fellow members, the couple decided to hold a wedding ceremony this spring at the end of May. A big congratulations to the couple. Here comes another reason to celebrate. Idol has once again grabbed the spotlight by achieving a perfect all-kill status with their latest hit single, Fate, solidifying its position as one of the top tracks of the year. Perfect All Kill is a significant accomplishment in the South Korean music industry, one that many can only dream of achieving. To earn this title, a song must simultaneously reach the number one spot on all nine major domestic music charts. It's no easy feat, considering the crowded market and the emergence of many talented artists each year. Fate is only the third song of 2024 to achieve Perfect All Kill status, following IU's Love Wins All and BB's Bomb Yang Gong. This milestone is especially noteworthy as Idol made history by achieving a perfect all-kill with four consecutive comebacks, becoming the only K-pop girl group to do so. Before Fate, Idol previously achieved the feat with Tomboy, Nude, and Queen Card. Congratulations to the super ladies on this remarkable achievement. Anticipation keeps building up for Mnet's latest production, Island 2, aimed at forming a world-class girl group that will lead the fifth generation of K-pop. This project follows the success of Island Season 1, which led to the creation of N Hypen, who has achieved worldwide fame with their ever-improving skills and impressive performances. Unlike previous project groups that are created by Mnet Survival Program, this girl group will debut without expiry date. The girls will be managed by Wake One. The show's collaboration with the Black Label brings Teddy in as the master producer. Teddy is widely known as the creative force behind two highly successful K-pop girl groups, Blackpink and To Anyone. Joining him is Big Bang's Young, a walking legend and respected figure in K-pop, who will sit as the main producer. Vivian, known for producing Blackpink Jisoo's Flower, Big Bang's Still Life, and Young's Nightfall, and 24, known for contributing to many hit songs by Blackpink, Big Bang, and John Somi, is also on board. Adding to the excitement, Monica from Proudmon and Lee Jung from YGX will serve as the girls' performance directors. Both gained fame from Mnet's popular show Street Woman Fighter, which successfully ignited a dance craze across Korea. Their choreography skills are exceptional, and they have contributed to many beloved K-pop choreographies. As if it's not enough, 
heartthrob actor Song Kang will narrate the survival program, while Blackpink's Rosé will lend her golden voice to the signal song Final Love Song. Produced by Teddy, Vivienne, and 24, the song samples Europe's The Final Countdown and delivers a powerful message about sacrificing what one loves to pursue their dreams. Mnet has revealed profiles of the 24 talented girls set to compete on April 18th. We wish them all the best. And we got more news from the Black Label as we edge closer to the debut of their highly anticipated first girl group. After causing a buzz with leaked photos of potential members, fans made an interesting discovery on March 26. It was found that the Black Label had applied for this trademark name. This led to speculation that this will be the new girl group's name, with many believing it will be pronounced as MOVE. According to the latest business report, an official from the Black Label stated, We have recently finalized the team name and debut members of the upcoming girl group. They added, We are planning to debut the new girl group within the first half of this year. Among the rumored members, three names caught attention. Ella Gross, previously known as Little Jenny, due to her resemblance to Blackpink's Jenny. She went viral in 2018 when it was announced that she joined the Black Label as a trainee at only 10 years old. Bailey Sock, a dance prodigy known for creating notable K-pop choreographies for artists like Red Velvet, Kai, and Taemin, and Annie Moon, the heir of Shinsei Gay Group which owns Korea's largest luxury department store chain. Are you excited for their debut? Shifting our focus to another label, HYBE has recently made headlines for striking a 10-year deal with Universal Music Group, the world's largest music company. HYBE, known as the home of K-pop giants such as BTS, Seventeen, New Jeans, and Le Seraphim, has been releasing more English songs for K-pop groups and promoting artists like Jungkook in the US. This deal grants Universal Music Group exclusive rights to distribute physical albums and digital music of HYBE artists worldwide, except in South Korea, China, Japan, and select social media platforms such as TikTok, Meta, and YouTube. Moreover, Universal will invest in Weavers, HYBE's superfan communication app, this partnership is expected to bolster the global market share of both companies. Additionally, as part of the partnership, they've formed a joint venture to create a new K-pop-style girl group targeting the U.S. market, Cat's Eye, slated to debut later this year. Following the announcement of this partnership, HYBE shares surged by 17.5% this week. With HYBE's continuous expansion, one can't help but wonder how far they will grow. Hold your breath, K-drama fans, as the best pairing in K-drama is in the making. Jun Ji Hyun and Kang Dong Wan is reported to have begun filming for their highly anticipated collaboration in the new drama Polaris. Both actors boast impressive acting credentials and known for their discerning choices in projects, opting for quality over quantity. So, seeing them together on screen is bound to be legendary. This will be their first project together. Known as a spy romance series, Polaris weaves a tale of spies searching for their lost identities. The series has the busy PD Kim Hee Won from Queen of Tears, Vincenzo and the Crowned Clown, and screenwriter Jung So Kyung from Decision to Leave and The Handmaiden, reuniting after Little Women. Remarkably, Polaris marks Kang Dong Wan's return to the small screen after nearly 20 years. The actor has been rejecting numerous love calls to appear in dramas even from top streaming platforms. While for Jun Ji Hyun, this is her first drama project since TVN's Jiri San in 2021. Rumored to be eight episodes long, there's still no confirmation about the airing platform. Fans have reacted fondly to the news, likening the pairing of casting and PD scriptwriter to an Avengers-like ensemble. Even Jun Ji Hyun's mother-in-law couldn't contain her excitement, sharing the news on her personal social media with a caption that exclaimed, My favorite combo, finally! Isn't it cute? Are you excited? Because we sure are! Meanwhile, this one is a pairing we never expected. Kim Se-ron and Kim Soo-hyun are becoming a hot topic in South Korea after the actress suddenly uploaded a photo of them together on her Instagram account without any explanation. In the early morning of March 24th, Kim Se-ron posted the photo, and she quickly deleted it afterward and didn't post anything else, but the fans are quick to capture it. The photo, showing the two actors cheek to cheek, sparked dating rumors due to their closeness. Some even mentioned the age difference, sharing an old photo of them from when Kim Se-ron was a child actor. In in response to the rumors, Kim Soo Hyun's agency, Gold Medalist, released a statement denying any romantic involvement between the two actors, calling the speculation groundless. 
The photo seems to have been taken when both actors were under the same management. We're not sure why Kim Se-ron decided to post and then delete the photo, the statement said. Then on March 27th, Kim Se-ron finally spoke up, saying she would stay silent on the matter. She explained, I've thought about it a lot, but I believe it's best not to comment since it's not an official position. Kim Se-ron was represented by gold medalist from 2020 to 2022 before ending her contract following a drunk driving incident in 2022. Since then, she has paused her entertainment industry activities and reportedly started teaching acting on the side. Meanwhile, Kim Soo Hyun is currently starring in the TVN drama Queen of Tears as the main lead. The series continues to break its own highest viewership rating each week and has recorded 22.4 million viewing hours on Netflix, making it one of the top three non-English shows on the platform. If the previous pairing confuses you, this next one came crashing like a comet and left just as quickly. In an unexpected turn of events, Han So Hee and Ryu Jun Yol have officially ended their relationship just two weeks after acknowledging their dating news, following multiple controversies. On March 30th, E! Daily reported the breakup, which was confirmed by a source from Ryu Jun Yol's agency CJS Studio, stating, It is true that Ryu Jun Yol and Han So Hee broke up. Additionally, a representative from Han So Hee's agency Nine Ato Entertainment added, The two both found their roles as actors to be more important. They promised to no longer emotionally exhaust with their personal life. Previously, Han Sahee and Ryu Jun Yol were seen together in Hawaii, and Ryu Jun Yol's ex-girlfriend Hayri posted a cryptic Instagram story with the word funny, leading to speculation that their relationship hadn't ended cleanly when Han Sahee entered the story. Then Han Sahee caused a bigger stir when she posted a photo of a dog holding a knife with lengthy post and ended it with, I also find this funny, which many people believe is an apparent reply to Hayri's funny post. After the matter went viral, Han So Hee took to her own personal blog to officially announce her relationship with Ryu Jun Yol. Han So Hee also stated that she would apologize to Hei Ri, explaining that she had made the post after her emotions took over her reasoning. When the news starts to die down, on March 29th, Han So Hee stirs the pot by suddenly posting a lengthy message on her Instagram, again, strongly denying accusations of their relationship being a transit relationship. Furthermore, she said, if this is a lie, feel free to release a counter article, or I'd appreciate it if Hei Ri, whom I've tried to reach from all directions to no avail, could also reach out to me. Soon after making the post, Han So Hee deleted it and wrote, I'm sorry, my personality can be rather rash. And just a day later, the couple officially announced their breakup. What are your thoughts on this news? Now, let's dive into the world of Korea's heartthrob, Song Kong, as we take you to get to know him up close and personal. Or check out these must-watch videos you might have missed. Subscribe now and don't let these fascinating stories pass you by.